Surge is one of the most controversial brawlers in the game. Depending on what level of the game you play on the most, your opinion on Surge will vary vastly, currently being one of the 15 most played brawlers in the game. It is no debate that Surge has a large fan base of players who enjoy his gameplay. However, as you gradually play against better and better players, Surge's flaws get bigger and bigger. That at lower levels of play can get team wipe after team wipe and completely dominate opponents. On the other hand, players who know the counter play to Surge will not allow him to power up. This leaves Surge as a state where he is almost a non-factor to the match, many times ending up feeding his opponents in a desperate attempt to level up. This complete flip of his viability has led to a divide in the community, with some players thinking he is an easy S-tier brawler. Due to his ability to completely counter other popular brawlers like Edgar Mortis and Fang, and other players seeing him as one of the worst brawlers in the game. Only being semi-viable in modes where opponents have to come to you, like Brawl Ball. My goal in this video is to propose a rework that would build a bridge between these two surge outlooks. I wanted to still make him a brawler where his upgrades would feel meaningful but not impossible to get, while on the other hand, making him less of a menace at lower levels, where he would be getting fed supers all the time. But before I get into my idea, I want to lay out the problems with Surge that I would be seeking to fix. What I see as the first problem with Surge is his upgrades value. When you think of a brawler upgrading as the game goes on, most people would assume that later upgrades are more valuable than earlier ones. But for Surge, this is inverse. It is to the point that sometimes players will willingly run into opponents and be taken down, just to achieve the first upgrade. And inversely, some Surge players will not even bother to power up to the final stage, instead finding it more valuable to save their super in case they respawn, so that they can immediately get their maximum range back. Part of my rework will be dedicated to making these upgrades not have a wide gap in resourcefulness. Next, the second issue I see with Surge is the fact that he does not fulfill his role as a damage dealer. When looking at damage dealers, we often see them classified into four main categories. Lower HP brawlers who can spam out a ton of damage in a short instance. Brawlers that excel at boosting a specific type of damage. Brawlers that excel at doing fast and large damage to brawlers that want to get too close. And finally, brawlers that can do consistent damage over a large area. The problem with Surge is that he is a brawler that falls in the middle of all these categories. He only has consistent area damage during his last stage. He can somewhat deal with tanks and assassins, but not as well as the others. And even with his super, he would require four or more shots to take down any tank, which again isn't helpful when paired with his slow reload speed. And even when looking at his pure damage numbers, he is among the lowest of the damage dealers. In the category, he only does more damage than a chuck at max range, RT's initial shot, a singular Chester Ball, and Nita main attack. But this is even worse than you might think as most of the time Chester will have more than one ball. Chuck deals significantly more damage with his super and from mid to close range. If RT lands a second shot, he actually does more damage than Surge. And when comparing three shot Surge, only does 80 more damage than RT. And although Nita does less damage than Surge, she has a reload speed almost half that of Surge, and a shot that pierces opponents. So against multiple opponents or consistent pressure, Nita would be able to deal a lot more damage than a Surge would be able to. Overall, when looking at Surge, we have come to see that he has a problem that plagues a few brawlers in the game. He is a jack-of-all-trades brawler that is not significantly great at anything. In Surge's case, it's more appropriate to label him as an assassin rather than a damage dealer brawler. As in most instances, he will just pick off one opponent on the enemy team by going in with his super, and then retreat to reload ammo. Although this is certainly something that some players can find fun, for my rework, I will be leaning more into his all-arounder kit to allow people to play him in a multitude of different ways. 
He still would not be the best brawler in any singular category, but instead would allow players to customize his builds and playstyle to fit certain situations. So now, with my two criteria of making his levels more rewarding and allowing him to be played in more unique ways, I would like to start my rework by stating I will be removing one of his star powers and reworking the other. The to the max star power is practically useless unless you are at the max level. To a degree, I will be implementing it into his base kit, but more on that later. For now, just know that Surge will be getting a new one later on. And for his serve ice cold star power, it runs into the same problem as Surge's old teleport, where it is way too mandatory to his gameplay, so like his other star power, I will be semi-implementing it into his base kit. But this star power will stay in a slightly tweaked form, though. This implementation will be the recycled trait. This trait allows a brawler to keep a portion of his upgrades. In Surge's case, if he is taken down in his first upgrade, he comes back in his base form, but with a half-charge super. If he is taken down in his second upgrade, he comes back in his first upgrade. And finally, if he is taken down in his last upgrade, he comes back in his first upgrade with a half-charge super. But now let's move on to Surge's revamped kit. For this part, I will be going through the changes at each level and then comparing Surge's old stats at each to his new ones. Firstly, at each level, I will be making Surge's super more impactful, while also changing its charge rate at each level. At each level, rather than just providing one boost, each level up will provide three base buffs and one special buff. To fully understand this, let's look at Surge's new base form. In his base form, Surge would now have 120 less damage on his main attack, but 125 more damage on his super. He would also no longer have a split shot, whether he hits a wall or an opponent. In turn, for these two nerfs, Surge's super, in this stage, only takes two hits to charge up. He also now has a normal movement speed. Surge's current slow movement speed just does not work for him and is a major reason why his first upgrade is so much more valuable than his others. In this change, I still wanted to make his base form weak, but easier to escape. On this, his first upgrade after using his Super Surge will receive three baseline buffs and one special one. The baseline buff will increase his damage by 120 to now be 2320, increases his super damage by 125 to be 2250 and grants him a split shot. This split shot will break into two whenever he hits an opponent or a wall. Note that these split shots are the same as his current ones, with each dealing half of the damage of his main attack. And just like his supercharging, his super half as effectively as his main attack. The special buff for this upgrade will boost Surge's movement speed to very fast. During this stage, Surge's super will also take three shots to build up. After upgrading, Surge will enter his second stage and receive the same three baseline buffs, with his damage being increased further to 2440 per shot, his super damage being increased to 2375, and his split shot being further improved. In this case, it would go from a T-shaped 2 split to an X-shaped 4 split. For his special buff, he would receive the same one he has now, an increase in his range by two tiles. To build up his super in this stage takes four shots though. After doing so, Surge will enter his third or final stage. Staying consistent, Surge's damage is now increased to 2560. This final damage number for his main attack was chosen as it mirrors other damage numbers commonly found in the game. 2560 damage is the same as his fellow hero brawler max full ammo bar if she hits all four shots and a regular mazy shot. It is also the same as two chester balls, two tick mines, and two bow arrows. Next, his super damage is increased to 2500, staying true to the previous increases of 125. And finally, his split shot is increased from four to six. For this stage, Surge will get a special buff completely new to his kit. This buff would decrease his reload speed by 20%, taking it from 2 seconds per ammo to 1.6 seconds per ammo. Over 3 ammo bars it would take Surge at max level 1.2 less to fully reload. In turn though, every super after Surge reaches max state will require 5 shots to get. 
but now for the full scope of this kit rework, let's compare each new stage to his previous. At his base stage, Surge now deals 120 less damage and no longer has a split shot. But in place of those, his super deals 125 more damage and requires one less shot to get. He also has a normal movement speed instead of a slow one. Although dealing less damage in this stage, Surge will rarely be in it, as in most games he will quickly level up to Stage 1. In Stage 1, he is very similar to his current self, with the only difference being that he now does 250 more damage with his Super. In his second stage, Surge would require one more shot to get his Super, but in turn, he deals 120 more damage, his Super deals 375 more damage, and his split shot now splits into four rather than two. And finally, at Surge's max stage, his super would now require two more shots to get, but he now deals 240 more damage with his main attack. His super deals 500 more damage, and he now takes 0.4 less seconds to reload every ammo. With his new reload speed being the same as Colette's and Poco's, with just the base kit changes, Surge's playstyle would swap significantly. He would now be more viable in his base form and would not have to just run in to build up his first super. At the same time, his max form was made more worthwhile with its reload speed buff, without having to make him more oppressive at lower levels. The main reason why Surge is so destructive at lower levels is due to his super countering almost all of the most played brawlers down there. So by buffing Surge in other ways while also making his super harder to get at higher stages, he can be a more reliable damage dealer rather than a makeshift assassin. But now that we are done with his base kit, let's move on to his gadgets. For both I feel they are perfectly balanced with people picking one based on their one personal preference. I personally feel that Power Surge is way better than Power Shield after all of its nerfs, but both are commonly played by players in the game. This gadget debate is similar to other gadgets such as ticks, where it is common for some people to say that Mind Mania is useless and you should always play Last Hurrah, and inversely for some people to only play Mind Mania, even if some people see one as a clear better version, the fact that both are commonly played means that they are fairly balanced across the game, as not everything should be balanced based on just the lower or top end of play. So moving on to his star powers now, I would like to start with the reworking of Serve Ice Cold. The Serve Ice Cold star power would now be the Heroic Comeback star power. This star power would double his returning numbers. This means if Surge is taken down in his first upgrade, he comes back in his first upgrade. If he is taken down in his second upgrade, he comes back in his first upgrade. One shot away from going back to his second upgrade, and if he is taken down in his max stage, Surge comes back in his second stage with a quarter of his supercharged. This reworked star power will be the one that makes Surge dying less impactful to him. So in turn, his new star power will be one that rewards Surge for staying alive and makes it easier for him. Surge's new star power is Protector of Justice. After using his Super Surge, will heal a percentage of his health based one which stage it was done at. As you can see from both of his star powers, they get more value, the more Surge is powered up. I feel this is the best way to balance Surge as he should be a brawler who you want to upgrade. As if you just hold on to his super for his respawn, it eliminates some of his uniqueness. So for this rework, I am also making Surge a brawler like Chuck who loses his supercharge upon respawn. How much Super Surge respawns with will always be based on his trait or star power if you are playing heroic comeback. Now into the final part of this video where I will discuss Surge's Mythic Gear, Hypercharge and Best Builds. For his Mythic Gear Surge will be given the Energy Flow Mythic Gear. Surge's split shots will now charge his super as much as his regular shots. Not only will this Mythic Gear provide him a bit more ease with leveling up, it will also make his max stage even more valuable. A lot of times people when they hit max level will almost never use Surge's super, as they would rather save it in case they are taken down. But with my other super changes, this can no longer be the case. So people will most likely be more willing to use their supers at max level, but it takes five shots to get. 
This mythic gear will help those players who can consistently get to max level build up supers more consistently as well. Next moving on to Surge's hypercharge I was conflicted on what to do. By far the most common suggestion I saw was to make Surge have a secret new level where he has a new mechanic. But I feel that kinda goes against his whole playstyle of gradually leveling up. So instead I went for an idea that Brawl Stars has been leaning into more as of recently. This idea is Trio Commonality. Across all of Brawl Stars. Trios we can see the members of each all have mechanics or abilities in their kit that link them together. Examples of this are all three Biodome Brawlers being able to get shields. All three Rangers have hypercharges that increase the width of their supers. All three Bizarre Brawlers has star powers based around introducing a healing and damage effect to their kit. And so far, both Swamp Brawlers have had poison effects to end their kit. I want to introduce this even more into the hero trio with Surge's hypercharge. Being heroes' abilities that are more supportive and help the entire team definitely suit them. So if Max can give teammates speed with her super, and Meg can give her team reload speed with her gadget, I would like Surge's hypercharge to do a similar supporting mechanic, so I came up with the Surge Protector hypercharge. Surge's super radius is increased to 3.33 tiles, and leaves behind a pool of energy drink that stays on the ground for 10 seconds. Both Surge and his allies receive a damage shield for 5 seconds based on what level he upgraded to. These shields are 10, 15, and 20% respectively, with the max shields being the same as the ones given in BB's and Pearl's star powers. But for your entire team for 5 seconds if they walk through the puddle. Again, this hypercharge would be a more supportive one, while also giving Surge a boost if he wants to use it solo too. The radius increase to 3.33 tiles was also to make it equivalent to Pam, and 8 bits turrets in size. But finally, we are now going to discuss what I believe will be Surge's best builds after this rework. After these changes, I think Surge will have four main builds that people will change around based on the scenario they find themselves in. First, I have Surge's controller build. This build is based around a passive Surge playstyle where the player will gradually build up their super and focus on controlling a certain point of their map. Opponents who try to get too close and try to take the area from Surge will end up feeding him super, which Surge can then use to heal back up and gain even more area control with the split shots. Next, I have Surge's Assassin build. This would be the build most similar to how he is played now. With the player focusing in on their 1v1 matchups and trying to keep that one player out of the game with constant aggression. Third, we have Surge's Damage Dealer build. With the heroic Return Star power, Surge won't be punished as hard for dying. So he would use his gadget to get in fast and quickly build up to his higher levels. Where instead of trying to stay alive with his super, he would use them much more aggressively to deal with tankier opponents. And finally, I have Surge's Hyper Carry or All In Build. With this build, Surge has insane survivability with both shields and healing. But due to not having the heroic return star power and the Power Surge gadget, a takedown on him is much more impactful. And he does not have a way to get into the game fast. This build is Surge's high risk, high reward build for those players who want to try and skill diff their opponents. But that is about all I have for this video. This might be my most complex rework so far, but I felt it was appropriate for a legendary brawler like Surge. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Was this rework not enough? Did I miss out on something? But if, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.